So today we have a quick tip um, on how to fade some text in Adobe XD without using a component. Um, and it is really easy to do, it just takes a couple elements. So first let's add some text and we'll say make this text disappear. And the nice thing about this again is that it doesn't use a component so if you're trying to create um, a page that scrolls with some animation as you scroll down and you're using hover effects this one won't have to um, reset before the next animation starts um, if you've tried to use XD to do that type of page before one of the scrolling animation pages one of the things you will figure out quickly is that the previous animation must fully reset before the next animation starts um, which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, it just it takes a little bit of effort to present something like that to the client, or you know, uh, give them some instruction in terms of how they should scroll through the page. Um, and I'll give you one more quick tip if you are presenting something like that to the client at the end here, um, that makes things a little bit easier. But this uh, this is going to I think save you some effort for a few or at least save you from having to create a few extra components all you've got to do is change this fill over to a uh, linear gradient and then you're gonna make both of the colors in that linear gradient white and you're going to make the start color um, zero opacity so now we have just a box that goes from zero to white and you will need for the rest of your page is going to need to have um, white boxes behind it because what we're going to do is we are going to make this a fixed position on the page. Um, so I think when you look at this it, it really can probably only work once. Um, I don't think if you have this fixed down here we can try it. Let's just try it together. Um, and a lot of this you know you'll need to make sure that things are in the right order um, on the page and that's definitely something you find out quickly with Adobe XD is that um, if you're if you're wanting things to go behind and create that parallax effect you've got to make sure that uh, all your layers are in the right order but so let's hit play and then we're gonna scroll and what you'll see is that that text disappears on scroll um, we do have our other we do have our other text showing up actually you know what that's the that's this top top text showing up again I think we're never getting we're never getting to this text um, because it's fixed position uh, so you never get to it yeah um, so yeah unfortunately you can only do this once um, probably at the top of the page but it is a nice trick to be able to fade text um, make it fade out on scroll um, and again, I deleted it there, but you do have to have a white backing on your page. And then this text needs to be um, set to be at the back. It needs to be the backmost layer. And then that fade layer needs to be right in front of it. And then it fades to white. Um, so kind of a cool trick. Hopefully Adobe will add some features going forward to handle on scroll types of animations. Oh, and then one thing I mentioned was um, helping clients out when they are previewing your pages. And the best way that I have found to do that is to put a little button here. Um, and you're gonna wanna position you're gonna wanna test it and position that button, but you can put that button there and then just say place mouse here while scrolling and that's not it's not a very pretty color that bright red um, bring that down and then so what will happen um, is then when they're scrolling they're gonna keep their mouse here um, oop, fix that in place fix position when scrolling they're gonna keep their mouse there and then that will prevent them from moving their mouse up and down or starting their mouse down here if you're using any of the um, the vertical scroll feature to try to create again that parallax or animation effect on scroll 
um, having them keep their mouse in one place is a huge help to presenting the page. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you want to get more tips like this. Thanks.